Hey everyone, what's up? Today I'd like to show you my summer commute home. I do about 40 k's home and 25 k's on gravel. So I'm going to show you the gravel part. It's really beautiful. And that thinking that I live in the Netherlands, you expect Amsterdam and uh, flat grass fields, don't you? <laughs> Outside Amsterdam. But it's totally different. Well, this is the section just after the mountain bike trail. I've just uh, come off the mountain bike trails and I'm going deeper into the forest um, to an area where there aren't any mountain bike trails where you can actually just ride the gravel. So, the mountain bike trail is the first section and this is where we go directly home, away from the mountain bike trails. Beautiful area this. There's a lot of sand today, so uh, and it's quite steep. I mean, you don't realize that, but uh, that's something you don't expect, of course, from the Netherlands. But it's uh, really steep some some places. And from here, here on onwards, it's on or off about 25 kilometers of gravel. Um, I'm never sure in these videos if I should have a voiceover, but. Uh, some people like that and some people don't, but uh, otherwise it's just looking at the guy riding and I think that's pretty boring. Well, like I said earlier in the video, most people actually expect the Netherlands to be flat with green fields, grass fields for cows, but this area is on the east side of Utrecht, Utrecht and it's called the Utrecht Heuvelrug. And then I have a little piece of paved section, maybe two kilometers. So I go into this section over here, which is really, I think it might even be illegal to ride on the mountain bike, but I'm not sure if it's illegal to ride on a gravel bike, because it's absolutely stunning for the gravel bike. It's a long climb. Um, I've done it a couple of times before. It's really cool. Um, it's a really long gravel, gravel climb, so, uh, you have to have some patience with this one and these are <coughs> and this is one of the climbs that uh, I often do because as I said we don't really have many gravel climbs and you have to be able to climb of course if you go to Germany and uh, you do races so I haven't done many races this year actually today is uh, the gravel 150 which I was supposed to race but Actually today, four weeks ago, I broke my ribs and I just did not feel up to it because I actually can't get out of my bed properly yet. I want them on the bike, it's totally okay, but uh, I can't handle big bumps, unexpected bumps. Uh, if you hear some of shaft in the woods, ah! that's me. And uh, that's because a sudden impact hurts my ribs tremendously so I don't really dare to race if I do or would fall again I'm scared of a punctured lung so uh, I really th this was supposed to be my first gravel race and uh, obviously I'm not doing it now so I'm totally disappointed um, it was a great course um, it's part of the UCI series to qualify for the world champions as age group then but I mean it's still fun to do but I'm sitting at home and uh, I'm not racing because of my ribs. So that's a serious bummer. Well, let's get back to the gravel we are now. Um, I'm going into a deep part of the woods. I mean, you really can't expect this to be the Netherlands, can you? And uh, this is so tremendously beautiful. Uh, soon I'm going to be going right. And this is the part that I always ride and once again I'm not sure if it's legal to be on the gravel bike but I think it is as long as it's not a mountain bike you're fine it's 
steep little climbs these you don't really see that that's how steep but they are quite steep and uh, this is a beautiful area to ride a gravel bike and the area we are approaching right now is a cross-country skiing uh, circuit in the winter um, it's very smooth and I'm approaching that right now I'm going left on it but it's like a huge square of I guess two or three I guess two and a half uh, kilometers and this is it it's a cross-country skiing uh, road or area in the winter so it's very cool that I went there once to watch the guys cross-country skiing it's pretty cool so it goes up and down as well so they can train for uh, and it's about two and a half k's I guess and they can train for uh, cross-country skiing in Norway or, uh, or Sweden yeah those are things you don't expect from the Netherlands like I said east of Utrecht that's where we are and it's called Utrecht to Hebelrug and I'm on a section now between a town called uh, Doren which means Thorn and a town, a town called Leersum and this is one area we're not allowed to mountain bike it's mostly private ground this, we just bought a mansion on the left but uh, I do gravel and cycle yeah I guess it's allowed I mean no one's ever said to me I'm not allowed to be on the bike so so as long as no one says anything I'm riding and as you can see it's extremely beautiful this is like the mid section of my ride and coming out of work and uh, riding over here doing this on the way home it's totally relaxing it puts you in a totally different sphere You can't see it, but there was a deer. <laughs> you have to believe me. But really, there was a deer. I recorded this ride about a week ago, and I was totally taped in my ribs. So if you do hear a little scream, that's me. But there's no way I can ride fast in a race and go through dips and over bumps. Obviously, I'm taped because I have to work as well. But I'll tell you, I have a feeling I used to recuperate from his broken ribs much quicker. It's been a bit of a hassle this time, four weeks now. This is absolutely beautiful riding. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to be here, but hey, let's enjoy this. I'm trying out my ribs to see if I could handle the gravel. Every now and again, I get enormous pain. Oh, shot to my back, my rib cage, but it's I can handle a little bit. It's not killing me yet. But those are ribs, and they have to heal themselves. And he's just got to grin and bear it, and shut up and take it like a man. I'm trying to, I'm doing my best here. Um, this section goes on for a while, so we're gonna fast forward a little bit as you can see we haven't seen anybody on the trails not even cyclists what they've been doing lately is tracking us on Strava to see where we do ride so at the end of the year they look at all the Strava details to see where we've been and yeah, not so cool because it means that they can restrict us even more but uh, for the moment this is cool going uphill. This is quite a popular Strava climb. It starts about 40 meters earlier, it goes all the way up here. It's quite a steep climb for about 5%, 6%. And uh, I think I'm like number 25 or something on this. So the guys are flying over here, definitely flying. The steep little climb. 
goes all, all the way up the hill to a very beautiful building where we join the very smooth gravel road again called the Stichtische Pad. And that Stichtische Pad takes me all the way home. And uh, like I said before, 25 kilometers of this, it's really fantastic. This is a beautiful day, I think about 27 degrees Celsius. Coming out of work, jumping on the bike, going to the forest. I mean, what's better than that? Actually coming home, totally relaxed. At about uh, half past nine. I leave my job at about 7.15 and I come back at half past nine. So about two and a half hours of riding. Then you come into a piece of road for about four meters and then you go off it again uh, to the right. And this is the trail that I spoke about earlier, it's stuck to the spot. Very smooth gravel trail. I did a king of the mountains on this section. I think I'm third there now. Well, I was third, I think I'm fourth there now. I'm fourth there now. I didn't get the KOM. It's not that I can't go faster, it's just a huge risk because you also have Dutch people cycling on this piece with their normal bikes and sometimes you come around a corner you can have a huge accident and a huge fall so I'm not totally prepared to take enormous risks on this section I did it once, um, I'm fourth on Strava I'm not doing it again unless someone actually rides in front of me like a little earpiece in my, in my ear telling me that it's fine but you can also hit a deer over here so you have to be a little bit reasonable instead of taking huge risks to get a strong KOM. It's just not worth it. And this is the beautiful, beautiful part. This goes all the way from, um, it starts in a place called uh, Driebergen, which is really 10 minute cycle from my work. I can follow this all the way home, but of course I deviate from it because it's, it's so easy and it's fun to ride if you just want to get home, but there's so much more to this huge piece of, piece of woods. You can google it, Utrechtse Heuvelrug, H-E-U-V-E-L-R-U-G, and that just means uh, Utrechtse Hillside, or hill back it actually means, but uh, it's just the hills between Utrecht and uh, a place called Heenen, where I also did a mountain bike uh, video, a fast lap. So this is so beautiful and most people don't expect this at all. I get lots of comments even from friends of mine saying, well where do you get the high beats from and uh, it's all flat there isn't it? And uh, my brother even says, uh, there aren't any woods in the Netherlands. Oh by the way, Holland means land of woods uh, they just took all the trees away and this is a huge section they actually did not take away and it's that's why it's so gorgeous so Holland actually means land of woods um, you can hardly imagine that because they took everything away I'm now approaching Armorogen which is the hillside town close to where the ferry is that I take so uh, absolutely fantastic ride and uh, I would advise anyone to uh, try it. This is a very uh, popular section of the gravel cyclists. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, till the next time. Cheers.